and to their huge credit, they uh, recognise that um, almost immediately and withdrew it. Crispin Blunt, while well, the former racing cyclist Chris Boardman is now Greater Manchester Cycling and Walking Commissioner, and he joins us. Good afternoon. Hello, very former, over 20 years ago now, but uh, <laughs> thanks for the reference. <laughs> yeah, well, we've got to just remind people. Um, the, do you think this is what we're seeing, this sort of backpedalling as we're referring to it, is just recognising those that are duds? Uh, the, yeah. The, well, I was interested to listen to that. I, I like that we have to be careful about using the word revolutionary, but we're fine to use the word catastrophic. Um, and I think there's also, I mean, I've read the article that sort of prompted this. Um, and in, certainly in terms of Greater Manchester, it's factually incorrect. The one in Trafford is actually still there. It's over three and a half miles from Sale to Manchester, one of the longest in the country. Um, and they actually want to improve it. They actually removed a small section just south of Sale because it did cause problems. And that's the point of this. It's temporary and it's quick. But I think the most important point that isn't getting across is who is this for? This isn't actually a cycle lane at the moment. It's an alternative to public transport. Now, Greater Manchester, and it, it's, it's worth looking at because it's indicative of the rest of the country, only a th uh, one third of households don't have access to a car. They completely rely on public transport. And on a normal day, there's 320,000 people uh, that travel three mile, around three miles to get to work, to shops, etc. 200,000 of them, if we are to obey all the social distancing measures, even at 30%, 200,000 of them either have to find another way to get to work and they don't have a car or they don't get to travel. So okay. right now, this is actually about social justice and giving people an alternative, a safe alternative to public transport for the moment. So from uh, and what, reallocating road space for them. Right, so from what you're saying, the revolution is still in full flow. Yeah, I think you've seen phase one where people got out very quickly. So the, the funding is actually in two tranches. So tranche